What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. We continue here with my 2024 college football schedule preview and projected record series. The Houston Cougars are up next and before we preview their schedule for 2024 and give them an early projected record based on how tough their schedule is, let's take a look back at what Houston did in 2023. Here were my projections and predictions last year for Houston. My projection had them at 6-6, six and six, and then my prediction for them was 7-5. and five. But Houston coming off a little bit of a rough season last year, going just 4-8 in 2023. I wouldn't really say it's a disappointment, to be honest, for Houston, but it was a pretty rough season either way for them in 2023. Again, just going 4-8 last year and not even making it to a bowl game. And this was also their first year in the Big 12, so it was, it was kind of like a new era in a conference here for Houston. Uh, you look at the schedule from last year. You look at who they played in the non-conference. They played UTSA, Rice on the road, and then, of course, Sam Houston in the non-conference as well. Uh, they lost to Rice there in that non-conference game on the road in double overtime. What a classic game that was in the Bayou Bucket Classic. And then you look at the losses for Houston coming in the Big 12 last year in their first year. They lost to TCU, Texas Tech, Texas, Kansas State, Cincinnati, Oklahoma State, and UCF. Uh, so they had a uh, a lot of tough games here in the Big 12, you know, with Oklahoma State and, you know, Kansas State and Texas there all in the Big 12 from last year. And then you got a couple wins last year against West Virginia and Baylor, so at least they didn't go winless, but it wasn't really enough to get to a bowl game. Again, Houston just going 4-8 last year in 2023. So let's now look ahead to 2024. Here is the schedule for Houston for the upcoming season. And before we go game by game, let's take a look at who they will play in the non-conference for this upcoming season. So you look at their non-conference schedule. They will play UNLV on the road here at Oklahoma. And then, of course, Rice here in the Bayou Bucket Classic. And this time they will play them at home. So you got Oklahoma here in the non-conference. That game is on the road. That's going to be a very tough game there on the road for this Houston team. And obviously it's now a non-conference game instead of a Big 12 game because Oklahoma Made a move to the SEC this year, so that'll be a pretty tough game there on the road. And then, of course, you got Rice here in this rivalry game in the Bayou Bucket Classic. So that's a revenge game here for Houston. That'll be a pretty, uh, that would be another pretty interesting game there. Uh, but again, they do get that game at home this time. So that's your non conference schedule here for 2024. Let's go back to the schedule now and go game by game now for the Cougars. They start things off with UNLV here on August 31st, and then after that, they go on the road to play Oklahoma here on September the 7th, and then they'll come back at home to play Rice on September the 14th. So they will play all three of their non-conference games in the first three weeks of the season, and then after that they go on the road to open up Big 12 play against Cincinnati on September 21st. Then they'll play Iowa State here at home on September 28th, and then going into the month of October, they go on the road to play TCU here on October the 4th on a Friday. Then they get a bye week right before playing Candace here on the road on October 19th, so they got back-to-back -back road games there uh, with TCU and Candace, but the good news is they get a bye week in between those two games. Then it's back at home for Utah here on October 26th, and then going into the month of November, they'll play Candace State here at home on November 2nd, and then they get their second bye week here before playing Arizona on the road here on November 15th. That game also will be on a Friday, of course, and then they play Baylor at home here on November 23rd, and then they will close things out with BYU here on the road on November 30th, so that is the schedule for Houston for the upcoming 2024 season. This is a pretty tough schedule for Houston. It's not horrible. It's not like very, very tough for Houston, but it is a tough schedule either way. you got Oklahoma, of course, in the non-conference. Uh, you, you look at the Big 12 schedule, they do have to play Candace, Utah, and Candace State. Uh, the good news is they get Utah and Candace State both at home. They don't have to play West Virginia, and they also don't have to play uh, Oklahoma State this year, which is good news. But still, either way, this is a pretty tough schedule here for Houston, but it is a schedule that you can definitely win. In, uh, you know, some games here in the Big 12 at least. So let's now get a projection here for Houston for the upcoming 2024 season. This is the scale that I use here for my projections. If it's a 1% game in the red, that percentage is going to count as an automatic loss. And then your 20% games here in the orange are going to be games where Houston will be about a double digit underdog. And then your 40% games here in the yellow will be games where Houston will be a clear underdog game by about a touchdown. And then your 50 50 games will, of course, stay in the white games that they can go 
go either way. And then your 60% games here in the purple are going to be games where Houston will be favored by about a touchdown. And then your 80% games here in the blue are going to be games where Houston will be favored by double digits. And then your 99% games here in the green are pretty much your easy wins and also your automatic wins there in that percentage. So we'll start with the automatic wins here on this schedule for Houston for this projection. I think you only got one easy win on here for Houston. That's UNLV here in the season opener. I know UNLV went to a bowl game last year. That definitely could be a game in the blue, but I'm going to stick with it here and put it in the green for right now. Maybe the game is at 90% by the time it comes to the season you know, starting up, but I do think either way, Houston will be a big favorite in this game. They have no business to lose this game either. It would really shock me if Houston did lose this game against UNLV, but I think either way they will be big favorites in that game by 18 to 21 plus points in that range somewhere in that range along the way so those are that's not a guaranteed win but it's you know it counted as an automatic win and also an easy win here in this projection for Houston and then you look at the rest of the schedule I don't have any games on here in the blue and purple for Houston uh, games where I think Houston will be favored by double digits and then also by about a touchdown so let's skip over to the red games or I should I should say let's skip over to the games where I think Houston will be underdogs in I don't have any red games on here which are automatic losses here for the Cougars but I do have one game on here where I think Houston will be clearly double digit underdogs and that game is going to be on the road here at Oklahoma so I don't really expect Houston to go on the road and upset Oklahoma here on the road in week number two of this season it's in a very tough you know tough road environment here and also in a very tough place to play now Oklahoma of course going to the SEC next year uh, again this is not a big 12 game it's an SEC matchup so again it's very interesting to call this one a non-conference game instead of a big 12 matchup but either way uh, you know Oklahoma is the better team here uh, you know they have the home field advantage and that's the reason why this game ended up being in the orange so I think Houston will be double digit underdogs here uh, you know 10 to 14 point underdogs here against Oklahoma in this range somewhere and again that's on the road that's the reason why I ended up being in the orange here for Houston then we go to the games where I think Houston will be clear underdogs in by about a touchdown six seven eight points somewhere in that range I got three games on here in the yellow where the Cougars I think will be clear underdogs in I got Candace, Utah, and Candace State here in the Big 12. These are all three games that, you know, Houston will be clear underdogs in by six, seven, eight points, somewhere in that range, which are not guaranteed losses and also, like, guaranteed wins, but... These are games that Houston can win. You know, they do have a chance to compete in these games. And the reason why Candace ended up being in the yellow is just because it's on the road. I think Candace with the home field advantage will be favored by about a touchdown in that game. And then Utah and Candace State, those are two home games there for Houston. I think they'll have a chance to compete in both of these games. They'll probably be better by the time when they get into the late month of October. And then same thing with early November. I think Houston will be better by this time as a team, even though they're probably going to be pretty young this year or maybe like, you know, maybe not young but I think Houston will be better by this time. So all three of these games, I think Houston will be clear underdogs in them. Again, by about a touchdown, six, seven, eight points, somewhere in that range. And then the rest of the games on here for Houston are pretty much 50-50 games. Uh, you got Rice in the non-conference, Cincinnati, Iowa State, TCU, Arizona, Baylor, and BYU all here in the Big 12. I think Houston, um, these are all games that can go either way. I think these are all pretty even matchups here for the Cougars as well. Again, you look at Rice, that's a rivalry game you never know what can happen you know rice defeated you know houston last year in double overtime so revenge is on the minds here for houston going into this game in week number three and then again all these teams in the big 12 they're going to be so competitive and again a lot of these teams in the big 12 and you're going to see every game in the big 12 this year be so competitive again it's going to be a wide open conference and a lot of these teams are going to beat up on each other i've been saying that for the like a lot of the year like a lot of the uh, big 12 teams that we've done this year and also for all the Big 12 teams that we've done. So again, this conference is just going to be so wide open. There's so many 50-50 games here in this conference. So again, seven total 50-50 games here for Houston that can go either way. Again, I got Rice, Cincinnati, Iowa State, TCU, Arizona, Baylor, and BYU. So those are all my 50-50 games here for Houston. Let's now get a projected record here for the Cougars for 2024. This is not my official prediction. This is simply a projection based on how tough the schedule is. So we count that one green game as a 
an automatic win. And then you average out that one game in the orange at 20% against Oklahoma. Then you average out all three of these yellow games here at 40%. And then you average out all seven of these 50-50 games here at 50%. And the overall projected record for Houston comes out to be 4-8 and eight here for 2024. So that's what the projection looks like here for the Cougars uh, based on how tough this schedule is. It's really not just about the schedule. It's really more about where the team was from last year. And it was a pretty rough season for Houston. I don't know how good this team is going to be, to be honest. I don't think they're going to be the worst team in the Big 12. But they're probably one of those teams that could probably be really not good this year going into the Big 12 next season along with other teams. Maybe like Cincinnati or maybe like other teams in the Big 12. But I can definitely see Houston going like 5-7 and seven or 6-6. Six and six, uh, Because like I said, the Big 12 is going to be so competitive this year. Anything can happen in this conference. However, if Houston does go like 3-9 and nine or maybe like 4-8 and eight again, this would definitely be a more disappointment here than compared to last year in 2023. But a little bit of a lower projection here compared to my projection last year for Houston. Again, it's 4-8 and eight here for 2024. So give me your thoughts on this Houston team down in the comments below. What do you think their projected record is for 2024? Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.